I hate every single one of you. This is the pessimistic red panda. And I'm back again with another video. Yay! Fuck you. Yeah, you. All of you. And you too. The one raising your hand, yeah, over there. Yeah, fuck you too. So, this is a continuation of the FNK series. This is FNK Part 2. So, about middle of 2015, I was working at for approximately, give or take, six months. And about mid-2015, I got the promotion to become an assistant manager. Now, this was shortly after FNK was hired. I'll just give a little background on how I became an assistant manager at um, Retail Afghanistan. So if you know retail, the turnover rate is high as hell. It's very fucking high. Um, let me give you a couple examples. There's this one guy. You sort of could tell he was a meth head or he did some heavy drugs. Uh, he was covered in tattoos. Very tall. Very tall. He was like at least 6'5 or something. He was very tall and skinny. And he worked for three days. And then... I never saw him again. I remember one day we needed him for truck and he never returned my call or anything. There was another cat. He was tall as hell too. He was about 6'3". I don't know why these tall motherfuckers keep quitting this job. But anyway. And he did the truck one day. And then told the store manager I need to go on spring break. And he never fucking returned. Let me put it like this. Before my first year was done with Retail Afghanistan... Everybody I knew from that freight crew, they were gone. Four assistant managers had just quit. I think one of them had moved up. Shit needed to be done in the store. Shelves were empty, all this other shit. So I guess I was the go-to guy to do that stuff, to um, put stuff out on the shelf and do all these other manual jobs. Pretty much if the manager needed something, or needed, me, needed to call me in. I'd be that person she'd call in. And I'd do the job. So about the time I got the promotion. One of the assistants had came to me. And asked. If I wanted to become an assistant manager. First thing I did. Well I just looked at that woman. and just, I just laughed her in her face. I told her straight up. People don't listen to me. They don't like me. They don't listen to me. They don't like me. I saw what the assistant managers had to do. That is bullshit. For all the responsibilities they have to do and have to put up with. And pretty much get paid dribble pellets for it. It's ridiculous. People on computers get paid more. Hell, people at wa <clears throat> people at um the Great Wall of Syria get paid more than fucking people at retail Afghanistan. Yeah, this, this you know, this brings me to another fucking point. I don't understand why these motherfuckers think I made of money. I work at retail Afghanistan. They don't pay me shit. They barely want to pay their employees for the for the job we do. And every other week they keep on adding responsibilities for us to do. It's ridiculous. The workload is too damn much to get paid so fucking little. And besides, nigga, I got bills, man. Just because I'm not dumb enough to get trapped by some stupid fucking thoughts in a child support battle doesn't mean I have money. Doesn't mean I don't have bills. And if I do have money, I have priorities and obligations. And guess what? They don't close your bitch ass. So stop fucking asking me for money. The store manager, she asked me if I wanted to become assistant. I said no. I pretty much gave her the same spill as I gave the other manager. And I had some more shit. I said, I'm not a good leader. I don't communicate well. I don't handle high stress situations very well. Look at my KD in Halo 4. But... For some reason, she saw otherwise. So, you know what? I said, fuck it. I took the damn job. And that was one of the biggest mistakes and one of the biggest motherfucking headaches I ever had in my life. Well, it wasn't as bad as going to Albany State. Uh, maybe I put it behind being born. Yeah, there we go. So, now that we got that cluster fucked them out of the way, uh, let's move on to FNK Part 2. As one of my first duties... As being trained as in being an assistant manager, was to make FNK listen to me. It wasn't the freight manager job. It wasn't the store manager's job. It was my job. I tried telling him he needs to stop crazy activities. Like, for ex for instance, I remember one time I came in the store. FNK was working in the back, off the clock. He cleared out all the chemicals, all the beverages, 
All the food. All the sections were clear in the back room. The only fucking problem was the stuff was thrown everywhere on the sales floor. You had food in the wrong sections. Let me give you an example. You had fucking um, Sloppy Joe mix where the macaroni and cheese was. Sunny Delight placed in the part where the four-pack sodas go. Or even better, you had a multi-purpose cleaner in the same section as laundry detergent. He just threw shit anywhere. He didn't give a fuck. Also, he would like leave his trash all over the place. Fucking boxes of merchandise would be scattered throughout the floor, trip hazard and shit. And the manager wanted me to control this bullshit. Not to mention, he'd always brag about how he has all these fucking jobs. Or, like, he'd, like, work at a recycling center. He'd work at Woodalls or fucking Pilot or... Oh, my God. He'd just brag about all these things that he doesn't do. For once, I just want to ask him, can you present a pay stub from any of these places you're talking about? And I'll fucking believe you. But, whatever, right? Another thing he would brag about, he would just brag about what he did about this um, whole back room thing. I remember, like, he would talk to customers and say, oh, I had this whole side clean, not one box. So he would brag about that for three or four months. But mind you, those are the easiest sections to uh, to pack out. You can pack out those system sections and, like, fucking, they're easy. They're the highest flow, easiest to pack out things. He won't mess with anything like um any area that takes like a lot of pegging or a lot of fucking um organization he won't mess with any areas like that he'll just mess with some high flow flow areas and ask and act like he he actually did some shit so he would brag about this thing for about three or four months i had to call him out on it he bragged to this one customer and said oh i had this whole side clean not one box i said uh that was in July. It's October now. And he just looked over at me like he was a little pissed off. And he carried on his conversation with the customer. So after a while, we got him under control. FNK started to clock in properly and fucking actually would go home on a regular time period. You know, he wouldn't work so much off the clock. Instead of, you know, being in the back room and doing whatever. And that brings me to the point of this fucking story. The following motherfucking shit I'm about to say is pretty motherfucking graphic. You've been fucking warned. So one day before the retail Afghanistan truck came, one of the other assistants and the store manager, they were stacking the back room, preparing the back room for the truck. Upon restacking a certain section, one of, the store, one of the assistants came across a food, pet food container. It was tucked away in a recess of boxes. And I know this lady. Knowing her, she probably screamed at the top of her motherfucking lungs when she saw what was in that container. Someone, some nasty motherfucker, had fucking peed inside that goddamn pet food container. And instead of throwing the motherfucker away, they tried to hide the shit. So the store manager, she saw this shit, and she automatically assumed it was FNK. She approached him with the bottle, and he said, Oh, it looked like urine. And guess who had the pleasure of throwing it away? It was weird. It kept happening. So maybe a couple weeks later, I was getting out sodas out the back to put in the cooler. And I saw a cup. It was filled with some frothy liquid. You know, it's like one of those things you have a feeling you know what it is. You just have to make sure it is what it is. And let me put it like this. My nose will never be the fucking same. I would say a month later, I found a Christmas cup on top of some shelves in the back room. I looked in the cup and you can guess what it was. It was some nasty yellow chicken noodle soup like substance that smelled like fucking pee. Because it was fucking pee. And you know what? I can't even look at Camel's chicken noodle soup. I look at it and I think about the ammonia smell. It's like, you know, retail PTSD. So the last time it happened, I had very little doubt. It was it had to be FNK. So it was the early morning freight hours. I only had two stalkers in the store. 
It was FNK and another guy. And the crazy thing was, I had closed the store the night before, and I filled up the drink coolers. That's where he is usually found, right behind the vendor drinks. I was packing out my U-boat. I was packing it up, packing up some chemicals. You know, put this on the shelf and, you know, rinse and repeat before, you know, it was time to do what I had to do. On the way, I was pushing my U-boat out. And I'm like, no, it's like, wait, what is that thing over there? So I looked over there in that general vicinity and I saw a lime green milk jug vase. And you can guess what was inside that milk jug vase. I immediately took a picture of the crime scene. I talked to the other stalker that was there and I showed him the, I showed him the pee vase. Uh, let me, let, uh, let's, let's call it a piss turn. Like a cistern, but a piss turn. And the crazy thing was, he tells me a story about one time he was taking out trash. And FNK was peeing near the dumpster. So the guy pretty much threatened him saying, if you keep on peeing outside, I'm, I'm going to take my knife out and cut you. And I asked him, where was I at when this happened? And he said, I was ringing up customers. Fuck, I lost my opportunity to write up FNK right there. So I walked out the stock room and, and called the store manager. She said, I need to show the stalkers the piss turn and make a declaration. If me or any of the other managers... Catch you taking a piss on or in merchandise. We have the right to write you up and fire your ass. So I went back to the stock room to try to find the piss turn and it was, it was gone. It's weird. So I'm guessing FNK figured out I was onto him. Really glad I had the foresight to take the picture of it though. Shit. A great piece of advice my ex-manager told me was to take a picture of it, of anything. Cover your ass. So I, I had this meeting. I called everybody in the back, pulled up my phone and showed them the picture of the piss turn. I asked, do you know what this is? FNK squinting his beady little eyes because he's half blind in the goddamn way. He said, he pointed at the picture. Oh, is that Coke? Not the Coke, I said. You see that vase? It's filled with piss. Ew, FNK said, acting disgusted. And I told him this. I said, I don't know who's doing it, but it's disgusting and it's a health risk. Whatever it is, will be ridden up and fired. Okay, you're dismissed. Trash at 30. And that was the last time I ever saw piss in a cup at retail Afghanistan. And that's it for part two. And by no means is this the end of the FNK stories. Oh, no, 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 no. I have quite a bit of stories to tell by FNK. Okay, let's move on to the final thought. Just because I'm a pessimist doesn't mean I don't want to be happy. I just look at, I just look at life for what it is. And for me, it's been hell episode after hell episode. Perpetual mental torture. And constantly letting myself and others down. You know, sometimes I wish I could look at the bright side of things. But I just can't put a band-aid of depression and anxiety. I can't neospore on these mental scars. And I can't fucking drink my problems into non-existence. You know what? I just think my imperfections... Are more important than my accomplishments. And to be honest with all you motherfuckers out there. I really haven't accomplished shit. Well that's it. You can fuck off now. Whoa. What the fuck was that?